the growing developer. Welcome to yet another part of this Ktext tutorial series and this part we'll learn about navigation and how we can send the data to a different screens and how uh, without much of talking let's rather see how we can implement this right so in this previous video we saw how we can implement the snack bar dialog and the bottom sheet let me just show you that the dialog and then we have the bottom sheet right everything is working fine and that too in some lines of code that is one or two lines of code that's it if you haven't watched the previous video go directly to this info section i have the first link you might be watching the playlist that's pretty good everything will be in this order right so yep all the links will be in the description the playlist li uh, link will be in the description for other videos uh, feel free to check out the channel and thank you so much for the love already if you love the content please subscribe right so let's move on to the navigation thing so this is a pretty orthodox approach that we apply that we do when we are doing the flutter navigation that is when i click on this i go to a second page and what is in the snack uh, second page where it is there it is so in the second page i have a center a text that's it you have successfully navigated to a new screen that's it nothing right just a text and a back button that says okay i'll back, go back so what are all the different features that we can have for this let's see so on press of this card i wrote this much line that is a pretty uh, like hectic thing uh, once i like suppose just imagine you have many nesting of navigation you have to go again and again to a new screen and you will be requiring these many lines to write that's pretty hectic. as a developer i can tell you how much hectic it can be now how we can do that in the getx way getx makes it exactly in some line that in a single line let's see so i'll just write get dot i have to import it first get dot to right get dot to get to a new page that's it i'll write second page which page to go and just tell me how many lines and how many codes how many alphabets we just missed here right i'll just comment it out and see if it is working or not it should work it will work let's see i click here i am able to go to a new screen you see that i am able to go to a new screen now what i'm going to do here is in this text i'm going to wrap this text with a column let's change it because i want to show you something so here i will have a, a flat button with the color as black maybe just for the theme and the child should say something like go to home page and on press of it of course we will go to the home page that's it so i have to give it a style here right so on press of it go to home page i should go to my home page why i wanted this let's see so i'll simply write get dot to and i'll write home page that's it simple as that okay so let's see i go back i have the navigation i am able to go to my second screen i am able to go to my home page but what is the difference that when i go to my home page i'm getting this back arrow i don't want it i should not have anything to get back right so because when you are going to a home page you don't want the option to get back right so how to do that how to cover that let's see so yep here instead of this two i can write off what does this off means this off means get to a new screen but just uh, clear all the stack that is that is clear one stack behind your page that is when i go to this screen i have the second page with me when i'll click on home page the second page will be removed from the stack that is i will no longer be able to go to my second page right so there you go now if i press back if i press back 
I will directly go to my home page. I'll explain it again. Let me just remove this. I'll change it to 2. Make sense? I click on this navigation. When I click on this go to home page, I'll again click on it. I'll go to my home page. Right? Now if I go back, if I press on back, I'll get to my second page. If I press back, I'll again get to my home page. Makes sense, right? Definitely makes sense. First I'm going to this page and then going to my home page. So I should have this page. But there are conditions that I don't want this page to again display. Suppose in case of splash screen, in case of login screen, when you log in, you don't want to show the login screen again. So in that case, we always do get dot off. That is, go to a new screen, but delete the screen. I don't want the user to be able to go back to at least this screen, right? Go to home page. And here I am with the home page, but if I press back, I'll, okay, okay, fail. I have to save it. And now, if I press back again, I'll directly go to my home page. That's it. Simple. Now what? If I want to take the user to the home page and then if the user press back, it should be like the app should exit. Makes sense, right? So if I press on this navigation, I go to my home page. I have the back option. I, I don't want the user to have this back option. So I'll write get off all. That's it. Just delete everything. So let's restart this app once again. So, yeah, now I have it. I press on this navigation. Now, if I press on this get to home page, you can see that there is no option to go back. That is, it deleted all my previous routes. Makes sense. All the stack is now empty and now I have in the home page. So that's about getting to a new page and getting off a new page. That is deleting the previous page or deleting all the pages in the stack. Now let's move on to how we can send the data to a new page. Make sense? So let's see. From my home page, get to, after that I'll put a comma. I have the parameter known as arguments. You can pass anything in the arguments, be it be a string, be it be a list, be it be a map, everything. Because this argument takes up a type of object. Object can be anything. So, hello from the home page. So now as an argument, as a data, I'm sending hello from the home page. Let's see how we can retrieve, retrieve it here. So I'll copy this text here after this flat button I'm gonna paste it let's save it so I have another text now I don't want to show this I want to show whatever I get from the previous screen so I'll write get dot arguments right dot to string why I'm changing to string because just for safety purpose text does not text only wants the string you cannot pause anything else in the text widget so it's good to change it to the string let's save it so you can see that hello from the home page is being displayed let's change it so now I'll give it a list of string hi this is a list save it I'll go back again press this and now you can see that I just passed down a list navigation page routes with names so this part of video actually I recorded after completing this complete application. So you might see that there are pages that we have not yet discussed. So we have discussed all the pages in the coming parts. So how to do the uh, name routes and how to declare it. So inside my main.dart file, you can see I have the get pages, which takes up a list of get pages. Okay. So inside this get page, I'll declare a get page. Okay. Now I should have a name property. Now this is my home page for my home page and then the page takes up a method and I'll return my home page. Similarly, I'll just copy. Now next thing I have to restart this application because it was inside my uh, main so like that. Now next thing 
home page second page now here how to go to my second page so instead of this I can directly write get two named right and then I can write second page for the arguments I can pass a list the then another thing growing and then we have the developer okay that's it so I'll just comment this out let's see if it works and not so if I press here I get to my second page and this is the page that I'm talking about similarly uh, if I go to my second page this go to home page get off all and home page so I'll write get dot off all named here I can write this and that's it simple as that I'll just comment this out so if I press here I directly go to my home page so that's how you can add the named page routes and there are the options where you can pass the parameters as well okay there are the options where you can pass the parameters in this as well like uh, suppose I want to pass the ID so I can pass the ID as this okay that's totally average so this thing we will discuss in the uh, upcoming parts maybe at in the near future the written tutorial will be updated to the growingdeveloper.org our website so stay tuned go and check out the website as well okay so yeah that's all for the navigation hope you like it hope you learn something from it and yes it is very easy and hope you like the package as well if you love the content please subscribe to the channel next thing will be the state management using the get builder what is a get builder what is getx and what is obs and how are they different from each other we will learn everything about getx in these series so yeah thank you so much for watching next part link in the description thank you